Hey YouTube, welcome back to Sea of Stars. In the last episode, Garl died. And in this one, we continue our journey on the other side of the Sea of Stars. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you'd like to join the lovely chat, we've got twitch.tv slash beard on fire. Love to see you there. We've got a link in the description down below too. See ya. Dude. So where we left off, Garl is dead. And now we're getting Chrono Trigger vibes because we traveled across the Sea of Stars to a dystopian, futuristic uh, land. Just feeling some swagger today. Get it, Nate the dog. Fuck yeah. Get your swag on. Okay, looks like there was a safe spot over here. I started walking toward this town last time. I was like, eh, you know what? I'm just gonna turn around. We'll just we'll just save it outside. Dumb. Robo baby. Oh yeah. Uh, so it's rise a cyborg. Who knew? If you had that shit on your bingo card, fill it in. I certainly did not. My house is all the way up. We can make our plans there. Okay. Well, we got a fucking town to Tarzan around in now. What is that? It looks like... Is it a Pokeball shop? I would like to buy a Pokeball, please. There's no place left in our hearts. Hey, who are you? Do you need to rest? Uh, yes. <laughs> what, did you not like that? Does major character plot twist count? No. No, it doesn't. It is. What is Sarai? Sarai is Cyborg. That's the only that's the only one that counts. That's it. Uh, you could fill in major character plot twist if it turns out that Garl is actually the bad guy. Garl was the big bad all along. We had no idea. He was so sweet. Man, I wish there was some way to cheer people up. It's like I'm the only one here other than Sarai who still has some energy. But I'm no fighter. You're from another world, right? You got any games out there? Wheels. Yeah, man. Wheels. Wheels, huh? That does sound like it could be fun. Could you do me a favor and ask that watchmaker from your world if there's any way to get a table delivered here? I'd love to play some wheels. Yeah, dude. All right, let's get some more. Uh... I guess we don't have any more music sheets. Too bad. What's this? Feed me something sweet. How about a parfait? <laughs> it just gave me a receipt that said tasty. <laughs> Feed me something warming. How about a hearty stew? And something meaty? How about a sashimi, bro? What is this? Not meaty enough. How about a hearty stew again? I already fed you half my food. Get out of here. Weird. The robo fucking. What are those things that are on the chain in Mario Brothers? Mario Brothers is Mario. All the Mario games. Not a womp. Chain chomp. Fucking discount future chain chomp right there. Chain Chomp is Chomp. Spirit of Garl is the Fleshmancer. <laughs> you accidentally made a game discovery. What does that mean? It did too much to us. Oh, see, with the pink light here I, and like the downward facing triangle, I thought it was a heart and I thought this was totally like uh, a brothel.
All right. Hello. We haven't we haven't uh, upgraded this in a while. Squidmaster 2, what up? Hello. Mm, yep, okay, cool. So we'll get a nano injector, an implant for Sarai that removes one star from allies entering KO state. Uh, no, that's all right. Yeah, we're going to grab this plus 20 and plus 19. Nah, let's sell that other one. Damn, we're halfway at our 888 coin goal so that we can buy our upgraded freaking... A seal these in powerful encryption. A cipher might do the trick. Abacus. We need to get it like it. There's an upgraded abacus for sale in the clock tower or the clock castle. And instead of just showing enemy HP, it also shows their resistances. Kind of a big deal. Who are you, dude? Another merchant. Aim Dore also feeds the mind. Crustod. Yakitori shrimp. Oh, wow. Which is going to be so expensive. Everything's so expensive, and I'm so poor. Oh, it's going to be good, though, dude. The recipes are worth it. The recipes are worth it. What do we got? Yakitori shrimp. Plus 15 MP. I mean, solid, right? Solid. I need to get away from the shops. Keep spending money. It's like me trying to budget in real life. This is not supposed to be a simulation game. Guys. I still see it in my dreams. I want a way back to my mind. Oh my god, dude. Fucking kids in this town. I was looking up stuff for art purposes and discovered there are, there are two endings to this game. Like this game? Are we talking Sea of Stars? I wish that I could give up. Wow. Pudding schmill. 100% MP, dude. I need that recipe. We should probably play some more Wheels games. There's a couple things that we need to do, like side quest stuff that we really need to dig into. One is the Quizmaster. So we need to get back to... Where was that? Lucent? The town of Lucent? Yeah, Lucent has the quiz master. How can I go on? And we need to go like hit up all the wheels tables and do all the wheels games. I think we are champion of like two tables, three tables, and that's it. We got some, we got well, some upgrades. I'm rich. Goodbye, losers whom I've always hated. <laughs> Thanks for the biddies, Nate. Yes, there is an alternate true ending. Okay. Dude, this is total tr uh, Chrono Trigger vibes then. Um, because in that game, Sarai, why would you return? What was it that you did? Okay, is anybody going to play Chrono Trigger that hasn't played it already? I mean, it's been out for like 30 years, so kind of your fault at this point. But I'll, I'll give you a chance. Nah, all right. So like at the very beginning of the game, you get into an impossible boss battle, like right before you start doing like chrono trigger, like time travel shit. And there is a point like after you've beaten the game where you can restart with the characters with the same stats. And if you just stay and fight that and beat it, that's how you get like the true quote unquote ending to the game. Uh. I think it's more complicated than that, but you have to actually like beat the very first boss that you face and that's how you get the best, the best thing. So I wonder if it's something like that because there's some like crazy shit that happens in this game right at the beginning too. So, I don't know. Good morning, Cedric. Ah. Good morning, Sarai. Okay, so Cedric is our AI friend. He's Tony Stark's... Dude, I haven't seen Iron Man in forever. Or Avengers, any of those movies. Jarvis. This is our Jarvis. I see your journey to other worlds in search of Solstice Wars has proven successful. Odds increase? Drastic. What's the status? 
Moon still sunken. Sun remains blocked by clouds. Fleshmancer yet inhabits the castle which cannot be reached. Active threat, Dweller of Dread. From what I can see, if you want to do the true ending, you'll have to look it up or I can tell you. Ah, I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to go through and uh, I will ask this. Should I make a save, like a separate save file now? Because I might have to like backtrack quite a bit. Any recent events? Yes. All right. <laughs> Word. I'll do that. Fleshmancer activity detected a few days ago. Fleshmancer left briefly for another world. Returned with new monster lieutenant named Elisandrel. Alina. Confrontation with Elisandrel not recommended. We'll see about that. Recommended action. Use Solstice Warriors to defeat Dweller of Dread. Recommended action dependency. Make for Sky Base to remove clouds and reconnect sun and moon. But how to get there? No, this is same Sarai. It just turns out that Sarai has been a cyborg all along. And I mean, Cedric, I guess you could count Cedric as kind of like an AI. Like he's like our Jarvis. Yes, there's no quest prompt that will lead you to naturally uh, to the true ending. Okay, okay, yep, making a separate save file. Report, surveil of Cerulean Expanse continued while you were away. And faint energy was detected, concordant with old records about the dead of a forgotten race. <gasps> Rumored builders of the Speedball Network might know a way to bring it back online. Analysis of rails and ramps confirms Speedball Network as a potential route into Sky Base. Recommended action, follow survey probe through Cerulean Expanse and investigate signal. Shot analysis, long. It's a, it's a long shot, guys. That was a shot analysis in Jarvis speak. It's a long shot. Yeah, we lost somebody. We lost the heart and soul of our group. At least we have a lead. Presence confirmed of servants to the queen that was. Confrontation likely unavoidable. Don't worry, they can fight. Probe calibrated. We'll be faster to show objects of interest. Good luck. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. It was pretty heart-wrenching. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I got choked up. We got a pro, guys. Call me an abductee, because I got a probe. Never mind about the separate save. Okay, you tell me when the time is, like, just run it to the end. Okay, okay, sick, good. I, I hope that would be the answer, because sometimes, like, if, you if the endings are, like, the choices you make for the new ending, especially if it's only two, if it's only two endings to the game, and they, like, the choice that you have to make is way early in the game, that sucks because it just means you have to play the game twice you know it's fine if you loved it but sometimes you just want to see both endings you know what i'm saying could they really be somewhere in there and still alive somehow one more thing cedric yes i want them to see what we are facing the dweller of dread show them oh dispatching drone Oh, shit. Bottom of the ocean. That startled me. Oh, Dweller of Dread is Cthulhu. No big deal. No big deal, right, guys? 
We got this. Your people. We're taking this thing down. Solstice warriors demonstrate emotional investment. Might negatively affect performance. Recommended action, breathe in. Don't worry about us. That monster is getting its due. Recommended action, breathe out. <laughs> Thanks, Cedric. Okay, the first moon has to shine again. We need you to at full power. This ruling expanse is east of Rapine. Here's hoping whatever we find there will be able to help. I have not completed all the side quests. Nope. No, we need to do like a lot of side quest stuff. They're like probably half the islands on the main land that we haven't explored yet. Takes. You go ahead. I want to talk with Cedric. I'll catch up later. Probe calibrate, calibrated for Cerulean Expanse. We'll beat faster to show objects of interest. Good luck. Fascinating. Oh my god. Decryption console online. Please present any data strips you may have. Decryption not possible unless more data strips are found. Recommended action? Find more data strips. You'll need to complete all the side quests? Sick. I've got no problem with that. Dude, this feels like a game that I could 100%, you know? Unless there's like a fucking Omega weapon or some shit like that, you know, Final Fantasy equivalent where it's like you need to level up to level 100. Then I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. If that's the case. Don't answer the question. I don't need to know. But if I run across one... You guys know what the decision is. To not do it. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. Okay, we already caught all the weird fish. It's really an expanse. Cool. Alright, so we've got some kind of a uh, probe. We don't talk about where we keep the probe. Just something that we don't we don't go over that. Alright. But the the probe will beep. Oh, it's beeping. Probe goes deep, guys, you know what I'm saying? something else here somewhere this is crazy oh hey we can dig up enemies that's cool oh no more garl we have only one person who can do blunt attacks I love how we have a sci-fi soundtrack now. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> it is my absolute favorite thing. All right, let's sunball these two. Vulnerable. Hell yeah. It's slapped. XP, that's good. Okay. Cool. Well, that appears to be everything in this spot. Okay, we went northwest. We're just gonna keep. Okay. It's one of those. One of those situations. So we went northwest and we got to that land. These fucking guys. All right. Oh, 
Oh, these are the ones that do the shield. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck. Just don't hit. I'll take power tackles all day. But I don't like the hex shield. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. there. I was looking away, and it turns out we just took out the hex shield, no problem. Does this have us leave? Yes. Okay, let's try going south again and see what's up. Same spot. Okay, northeast. Come on, probe. Okay, northeast took us the same place as northwest. But north. And north is nothing. How about southeast? Fuck. East? Is there just an east option? Here we go. Okay. Yeah. See if Garl were around, he's like, hey guys, let's let's not use the meat that we just found buried underground, huh? Wire plate armor. We've got volcanic armor. Wire plate gives us plus three, plus four. We already got wire plate. Can anybody else even fucking wear armor? I sure can't. This is why you don't buy things for yourself. Thanks, little probe. Okay, so we found two of this. Okay. Oh, this says go east. Ah, got it. This represents directions for the next place to go. Okay, so this one says east. That's how we got to this one. This one says go northeast. Aha, fucking puzzles this is outer wild shit this is this is how this is how i get smarter let's play through outer wild suddenly i'm a genius that's how it works all right southeast it is but we need to pick up all the things including the fights robo donkey If it's a fight you want, donkey, it's a fight you'll get. Hmm. All right, let's kick this dude just because I'm a little bit more worried about whatever it is he's going to do. Panhandling. If you steal fucking money from me, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> like, we need our money so bad. That would be the worst. Okay. Damn, too bad we don't have Moonshiv available. Fuck some people up with Moonshiv right about now. We got one combo point. Get us to two so we can do something flashy, something fancy. Ooh, 
Rubber donkey. to that. All right. Well, let's do that. You'll be presented with seven needed side quests. That is all. Oh, sick. Okay. All I'll say. All right. All right. Beep, 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 beep. Future taters. So these are like food time capsules. Come on. Come on. Show me where it is. Show me what you got. Ooh. Oh man, 25. People in the future are poor. Like, what the fuck ever happened to inflation, man? I should be finding bundles with, you know, 25,000 gold coins. And it's worth trash here, but in our time, pre-inflation, like, ooh, baby, we should be good to go. Wait, what did that say, south? North. Is this the future or another world? Uh, I think realistically it's another world. I think we're in a multiverse situation. But I mean, you can tell whatever this situation is, you know, we're kind of far along the timeline. And if they use the same currency that we do, because it appears that they do, then... Inflation. Now they are coins though. Yeah, they are, they are coins. So it's not fiat money. Okay, fine, fine. Oh guys, as per the usual, whenever I play a game like this, I uh, at some point or another, just like leave the game running all night. So my game time on Xbox now is totally fucked up. As per the usual. I don't think so, brother. Brother. All right, Squid Master, see in a minute. Uh, enjoy your shoveling. Hopefully you're done. Wang, 107 HP. Damn, dude. I suck. <laughs> I suck so bad at timing those. Healing light yourself. Oh. That's vulnerable. I mean, kinda, I guess. Where are we at? Dude, can we please get to two combo points? Jesus. Thank you. Thanks for the bits, too. Appreciate it. That actually did 
helped me look over at the screen. So that was that was much appreciated. Uh, let's yeah, let's do this. Troll Hunter, so much has happened in this game since last time you watched. Our boy is dead, first off. And now we're in some kind of alternate universe slash timeline. Maybe both. Fuck. Gotta get our MP back. Souls to strike, maybe get through the actual hex shield or not. This little guy can go fuck himself. Oh, come on. One more. Really? Yeah, yeah, Garl's gone. Full gone. <laughs> he died to death, just like Nate the Dog said, dude. Gone, died to death. <sighs> he actually died to a uh, Fleshmancer, like, magic missile to the chest. It was very epic. He did get, like, a good... We did a lot of side quests with Garl right at the end to kind of progress along the main quest, but shit, man, it hurt. It hurt. That one hurt. Like, that one legit, I... I teared up, dude. I teared up. Ooh! Some more buried meat. Like, we haven't seen a single creature that has meat yet. It's all been robots, so how old is this meat that we just found? All right. Blockable, love it. Okay, so we can actually use Ebb on this dude. Hell yeah. And we go to Sunball. You fucking wreck nerds. I'm glad we killed that guy before he could hex shield, because that shit was ridiculous. Couple blocks. About damn time. I thought this was some adorable cute game. I was not expecting some Game of Thrones level dying characters. Yeah! Yeah, me too. Like, if you played Final Fantasy VII, uh, you know, it's been out for like 30 years or whatever, so... Spoiler alert. Aerith dies. And I think it, like, it hits on the same level as Aerith dying. It wasn't as sudden, but that almost made it worse. Because you had this opportunity to, like, quest with him for a long time. Even after you knew he was going to die. This didn't feel good, man. It hurt. Right now we're just kind of wandering around this place called the Cerulean Expanse using this little floating probe guy to uh, find buried things. I think we're specifically looking for uh, a buried, like, corpse of a long-forgotten race of something. Of something that made a speedball... Horse, <laughs> weirdly. Where is it? Probe. Use your words. Thank you. No, sir. I have not played a thirty-year-old game. I'm a child. <laughs> That's fucking brutal, dude. That's fucking brutal right there. Well, rebirth is out. And, uh, 
was the first one? Remake? Just Final Fantasy VII Remake? Yeah. Get ebbed, nerd. Or don't. Have you guys seen the movie The Ballad of Buster Scruggs? In the movie. There's this scene where there's a bank robber, and it's like a, a lone bank teller out in the old west. Not even in a town, but like a, just a standalone bank building. You know, the bank robber does what he does. He robs the bank. But then the bank teller chases after him. And he's just covered head to toe in pots and pans. And the bank robber shoots him a couple times, you know, trying to buy himself some time. But every time he just hits one of the dude's pans. And the guy's running through the fucking desert getting shot. And every time he gets shot and he hits one of the pans, he goes, pan shot! That's what I think of when this guy does the skill. Pan shot! I forget the actor's name. He was in news radio. Anyway, it's fucking hilarious. Hydrate. Yes, the audio is not working for hydrate. Or the gravity one. Not, not James Franco, an old dude with glasses. That was the same show that, like, Joe Rogan was in when he got famous. Ish. I guess it was really, like, the show that got Joe Rogan famous was that extreme game show thing that he did. I forget the name of it. But anyway, that actor is with him in News Radio. Phil Hartman, also in News Radio. Rip Phil Hartman. Cool dude. Finally, we made it. Rip Phil Hartman. Literally 30 years ago. I think that was like 1994. That dude died. Uh. There's no one. Another setback. Sarai. Pedrick detected something here. We have to find it. What? Is it Shepherd Root? Is that an actor? Maybe. Is he the dude that, like, was the radio manager in News Radio? I think he has glasses in most of the films that he's in. I think. I love how he like he has the exact same thing happen to him though like the next scene not with the fingers but getting shot by a young gun Ephraim built this place really this used to be one of his workshops and this dome design we are in a container for souls Ephraim why? Because he went mad, man. His experiments left a presence behind. One moment. How jacked up do you think Rashawn looks under his robes? Attention all! 
This concoction will dispel the concealment curse. So those who wish to remain hidden, look away now. Oh, shit. Oh? It worked. Hey, I can see you. What color am I? What happened to you? Another wicked experiment. I knew Ephra was meddling with souls, but to detach living beings from their bodies. So he hides the proof and leaves them here to wander forever? Your friend is a coward. Everil's not. These people might know something that can help. Let's ask around. Hmm. I don't know why I looked. Leave me alone. <laughs> He's like, I regret everything. A merchant. Need anything for the journey ahead? Oh, man, I'm so low on money, you guys. Oh, but I really want to buy the recipes. Hmm. That's 270 gold. That's over half of our gold if we buy both of those. Can we just buy one and see... Okay, pay to Ray. Plus nine MP for the entire party. That's pretty sick. Damn, man. Adamantite ore is only worth eight gold. I should equip that. Why did I not well, equip that? I'm rich. Goodbye, losers whom I've always hated. You do it for the warrior cook. Yeah. Wait, you mean spend money for the warrior cook? Yeah. Yeah, buy the recipes. You're right. You're right. Okay, so pain to ray. It's not so expensive. Oh, and I bet making the gourmet burger is going to be meaty enough. Yeah. It's going to be meaty enough for the, like, the little fucking chain chomp guy. Surely you won't try to enter the workshop. You know there's something big and dangerous in there, right? Well, I do now. Thank you very much. What? Jasmine? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I said I had something big and dangerous in there. From like, were you sneaking up on me? I was trying to. And you just couldn't help yourself? That's hilarious. All right, she was sneaking up on me and she yells, she can't help herself. So she yells, your dick. Fantastic. You're literally crawling on the ground right now. <laughs> Jet says hi. Nate specifically. I saw someone darting towards the exit. Don't they know we're stuck here? Oh, Jesus Christ. You guys, I knew you were down there. Calm down. You scared the fuck out of me. Careful now. <laughs> Excited for this weekend. Yeah, me too. No oh, color am I? No, you tell me first. What's it say? Dude. What's mine say? This was always a special one. Okay. You're Solstice Warriors, aren't you? How do you know? The dead of the Forgotten Race know many things. Who are you? I'm called Bist. Do you know anything about Skybase? Yes. My people remember when the place was built, back when we had physical forms. 
Unfortunately, the access route went offline after Skybase was corrupted to create the clouds. Corrupted? Yes, it was the first step in the build-up to our world's downfall. You mean Sky Base wasn't always designed for nefarious deeds? Oh, no. It used to regulate climate and keep our planet lush. It was beautiful. The evil machine that took over Sky Base eventually corrupted its AI core. The creator of the cyborgs, it called itself the Catalyst. So that's where I'll find that bastard. You remember? We thought it erased memories, too. We only remember its name. Dry. I'm okay. Just one more reason to get to Skybase. Speedball Network is the only way. Do you know how we could restore power? Yes. When it became clear that our world would fall, we built a failsafe. Amidst the sacrosanct spires, it hides in plain sight. A titan made of cybernetics and stone holding a giant block up high. If the brakes are released, it will drop the block, returning the energy that was spent to lift it up. The most primitive form of battery, holding just enough power to support our world's last ditch effort. We named it Estrista. Estriste? 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 Good luck with that. My little cousins are driving me insane. I hate kids. <laughs> That's the part of having family around, is you get a bunch of kids. What are you guys doing this weekend? I'm gonna go see uh, Jazzle Pants is in a play. She's in a play in town. So we're gonna check that out. But the entrance to the Sanko Saint Spires is sealed. My people tried everything. That seal is an easy one to break for those who know how. So you can get us in? Absolutely, provided you can find a way to take me there. What do you mean? This one understands. Boost and his people are stuck here. This dome is the only thing preventing them from dissipating into nothingness. As I said, I will help you, but first, but you first need to get me there. Oh, break a leg, indeed. Thanks, armed artist. That's really nice. You know, like, I found out after she was in the play, like, what break a leg, like, where that came from and what that is. So it's actually, like, if you're telling somebody to break a leg and they're in the industry, you always tell them to break a leg when they go to audition. Because if they break a leg, then they come back in a cast. My favorite kind of pun right there. Yeah. Yep. But that is legit. That is legit. That is exactly what it is. And I also wish to fight by their side. Tell me, how good of an alchemist are you? I didn't know it either. I didn't know it either. I was telling people, like, break a leg when they were going to be in a show. But nobody said anything until Jazzo Pants came back and she's like, I found out what it means. I devil. Can you do it? Living glass. Dun dun. One final attempt, perhaps. Maybe they didn't know either. Total, yeah, could be. Totally could be. Are you sure you understand what you are demanding? Yes. For a way to fight back and help reclaim my world. The procedure cannot be undone. I understand. I would need proper tools, but my code prevents me from breaking into Ephraim's workshop. If you can get the door open, I will do it. You 
You're not dodging this one. Hell yeah, Sarai. See that teleport. Cedric, I'm uploading a 3D scan. Transmission received. Lock level intricate. Can you make the key? Affirmative. Good. I'm sending the probe to pick it up. And now, we wait. Badass Lady Gamer, you missed some shit go down too! Last game, we. Garl's gone, man. Garl? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Gone. Gone, gone. The kind of gone where you can't say the real thing out loud because it hurts too much. Should have fucking been there. Where were you? Badass Lady Gamer, you should have been there for him. <laughs> he cried out for you in his last moments. Oh, Jack! Why would you do that? <laughs> Man, I was doing laundry. <laughs> but your life. I guess I'd just never imagined such a long stretch of time. If my understanding is correct, you and Valir are on such a path yourselves. I... One day at a time. And I have much to learn about combat myself. I believe we can teach one another. Oh, is this like a fucking solstice warrior from another land? Solstice brother from another mother? Yeah, big sad indeed. Big sad as fuck. Still, I bet Garl would have managed to make them laugh. See? Fucking everybody's remembering Garl. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'm sorry, Valir. I didn't mean... Oh, no. It's okay. See, I, I used to think grief was a negative emotion that eventually went away. But it doesn't work like that. It's just always there. So it's not like there's anything you could say that would suddenly make me remember him. Sometimes I feel really sad, and other times I just find myself smiling and thinking of fond memories. It's like Zale said, he's always with us on some level. And I think I'm slowly starting to understand that it just means I'm lucky to have had someone so dear to me. Does that make sense? It does. Thank you, Valir. This helps me too. Just like Garl to be the highlight of the day without even being here. Oh my god! Fucking game, dude. Uh, look! You can even see it in my eyes, man! They're wanting to tear up. See that? It's shiny. Shiny. Looks like our key just arrived. <sighs> Ready? I should warn you, the abomination that tortured us still inhabits the place. We'll take care of it. Are you squid-ding me? <laughs> I hope our little warrior is cooking some tasty meals somewhere across the cosmos. You know he is. You know he is. Somewhere with that sky dragon. Celestial sky dragon. Found a walnut. He just upgraded his shit and we already got a new one. Okay. Magic attack 105, man. Triple digits now. We're kind of a big deal.
gonna have to watch the VOD. I'm so behind. Yeah, okay, I'll summarize for you real quick. Okay, so, showdown with the next dweller. So we did dweller that was the torment mountain dweller. Took him out, no problem. All right, fast forward a little bit, looking for the next dweller, dweller of strife. Did not go great. They were in a clockwork uh, castle. We, we got there, you know, we teamed up with a group of old children. You heard me right. A group of very old children, ancient, you could say. They really helped us out, but then uh, the actual, like, Fleshmancer showed up in the flesh. And Sarai got a little impatient, grabbed Rashan's time potion thing. All right. And recall how Rashan was sworn not to interfere with the dweller. All right. She grabs Rashan's time thing, throws it at the dweller, and then the Fleshmancer shows up and goes like, what the fuck, dude? I thought we agreed that we weren't going to interfere. You know, we were just going to let things play out from the... Mm-hmm. And so, from there, Erlina and Brugavis got officially hired by the Fleshmancer. Um... One, two, three, and four, the Fleshmancer's minions. Yeah, they're going to be more badass now. They all got promotions. And the Fleshmancer shot Garl. And he bought a little bit of time from the Elder Mist. A little bit of time to unlock the path across the Sea of Stars. Where we'll be able to have our final showdown with the Fleshmancer and his upgraded minions. It was a whole thing. He was half dead that whole time he was flashing in and out of the ethereal plane you know being garl good spirits looking out for everybody else occasional lashes of pain as he was going through his uh his final stages and then uh and then we grieved our faces off and it was horrible woof this betrayal channel point reward doesn't work I'm gonna fucking flip out what the fuck betrayal yeah stab in the back betrayal yeah I'm stretched on the rack betrayal yeah, thrown out of the. I didn't pop up. Thrown out just of being the a bitch to Beardo, dude. It's pack. Been a thrown out of the bitch. pack. <clears throat> betrayal, dude. Betrayal, betrayal across the board. Yeah. Armed artist, you're right. <laughs> Squidmaster, you you're killing it today, brother. You're killing it today. Oh, uh, this pod. This is where I kept all where I was kept all those years. And this one. Decor. At long last, you will be avenged. Yeah, we got a lot of vengeance lined up. Fucking line them all up. Turn around so we can kick your asses. The monster's up ahead. Make sure you are prepared. Okay, MP looks good. HP looks good. Little savey save. Well, big sad man, my favorite always dies. Yeah. I'm hoping, like, if we get the good ending, we get some... We get some Garl closure, because we could really use some fucking Garl closure. In a real way. Oh, wait. Oh, we need to cook food. We really need to cook food. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, we only have 5 out of 10. Holy balls. That would have sucked. Okay, so Gourmet Burger... Holy shit, 175 HP and 7 MP? Damn. Okay. We'll make three of these and two. And a pain array and a parfait. And we'll call that good. So that's big HP, a little bit of MP. This is big MP. And then I think parfait bring somebody back from the dead. 
Yeah. Right? Right. There we go. What a... Troll Hunter? That is... That is... That thought has entered my head. Okay? You you and I are on the same level. <laughs> Fucking Squid Master's on fire over here. Shit! Oh... Yeah, that would, uh... That would do it. I mean, you want to talk about being emotionally invested in the final boss fight of the game? That's how you do it. Oh, you nasty. You, I don't like this fight already. This... This is the operator. Seems pretty dead to me. Be careful, Zale. Machines can be deceiving. Was that a self-burn in a way? Because she deceived everybody for so long? Hmm? It's moving. Get ready. Oh, dude, we have a sci-fi version of the boss fight song, too. Okay. Well, Lunar Shield. Yeah. Squidmaster, you are... You are on such a roll. I hope you've understand like you understand your obligation to continue now. And I do mean obligation. All right, here we go. Lock broken. Hey, okay, can we target the tentacles? Meduso. What a name. All right, we'll uh do sunball. That animation. Pre preemptive dunce. Oh, that that would belong to Squidmaster right there. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Focus up. We got our lunar shields up. Let's actually double up. <clears throat> bump, double up, bump, bump. And we can swap. Let's do a disorient. Just keep delaying the boss's initial attacks. <clears throat> we can just build up a little bit. We can just build up some MP. We can get some balls in play. Get some combo points. Oh shit, these guys are trying to summon. We're going to do Zale attack this one. We can do another disorient over here. Yeah. Okay. So that that's disorient. Oh, shit. Okay. Pretty big attack right there. And then we can combo strike. Has Medusa's face always looked like that? Oh yeah, no, it's getting fucked up. It's getting fucked up. Okay, I'll be in and out. I gotta make food. Right on. Thanks for lurking. Um, okay, let's actually save the ultimate. Now, let's see how we do against poison damage. Not vulnerable, not resistant either. All right. So if we do our ultimate, <clears throat> I think we can take down three out of four of these locks and get a whole bunch of uh, combo points while we're at it. Let's go. Well, Soraya still hasn't shown her crew anything. I had to pick this ship 
like when the lightning strikes at the green background for one of my thumbnails on YouTube. Like, I couldn't not do it. Had to do it. Had to do it. All right. Damn. I think we break all four locks. Look at that. Can't stop them all this time around. Okay, Sarai's already gone. This is our only dude that has any attacks left, so may as well do this. Oh boy. I didn't block any of those. All right, and then, uh... How are we doing over here? Yep, we got eight MP. Let's do a Crescent Arc. What do you have against Dry right here? Jesus. All right. This is getting insane. We've got to focus down this dude. got for combo. We got Arcane Moons or Arcane Barrage. Yeah, I think we're just going to end up tanking a bunch of these. Hey, dick. That's not cool. Okay, let's just keep focusing him down. Okay. Okay, let's swap... We could disorient. Boom. A few extra turns. And we'll Moonerang. Now that we have less uh, targets, we should be able to do more focus damage on just the one single target. If I don't fuck it up. Shit. Okay, let's do... Pain to Ray is party recovers 9 MP. Okay, first off. Yep, get there. Okay, let's have Zale go. That was all right. Dude, the heals are out of control, though. Okay, I'm starting to see this is just an, like a uh, DPS race. So we just got to do more DPS because he uses almost all of his turns for, uh, for healing. As long as we keep the damage up. Whoops, swap. For this homie, we've got no combo. Let's do an advance. Oh, that didn't hit. 
that thing at all. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're going to save the ultimate, though. All right, Valir has full MP. Not full, but enough to do a shield. Sick. Okay. Well, we got enough for the ultimate. Let's hit it. Well, that'll knock out a big chunk of them. This is a really cool boss. I'm digging this boss fight. Oh, sick. Okay. So we can disorient over here. That'll buy us a turn. Not enough. That's okay. You can do that thing. Yep. Woof. Hate having to use this. something. I'm thinking disorient. Uh. That's two heals. And that last thing is just going to be a big ass attack. You've really got to use your skills, my dude. Yeah, that's 138. That's good damage. It's probably going to do a big breath attack. God damn, that hits hard. Woo! Our guardists love the music too. Yeah, me too! I don't know if you noticed the difference between... Like all the fights and and uh, like the music that goes on during the fights and overworld music, as opposed to the previous world, because it's it's like a lot of it's the same song but just you know a little different style. Ooh, spectacular! Ugh, everyone's better off without that thing. Rashawn, did you know? world is unknown to me. I wish I could say the same of Ephraim's ways. The workbench is just ahead. We should hurry. Yes, this will do. Living glass will only materialize for a soul that carries unwavering determination. You're gonna make me octo up with your squid puns? One last time, are you absolutely sure that this is what you want? I am. Then follow me. So you will do this for me? Of course. But how will I know when it is time? Just follow their lead. And remember, only the three of you can enter the portal. I understand. What do you bet that's a self-destruct? 
They built in a self-destruct button for the Fleshmancer. Whatever's going on back there. It worked. All right. Dude. Bist. I can feel. Glass is a very fragile material. I bound its living properties to your mind. You must always have purpose. For this vessel is only as resistant as your will is strong. Then I am invincible. All right, Bist. Let's go. Yeah! I can't squitter it. Thank you for giving me physical form again, great alchemist. For centuries, I have longed for the chance to reclaim my world. To the sacrosanct spires, then? Are you sure you can get us in? Definitely. The crazed cultists won't take kindly to trespassers, but I am eager to test my new form. We will deal with whatever comes our way. I look forward to fighting by your side. All right, new party member. Hell yeah. The spires are in the northwest corner. Let's hurry. Yeah, troll hunter. Squidmaster's real. Bist joins the party. Sick. All right, look at you, man. Ah! Secret treasure chest. Dude, worth the exploration. Look at you. Okay, what's our, what's our situation? You got a glass fist. And you're using a dull simulacrum. All right, so we can do plus 10, minus 20. We get magic defense, HP up. Is the Assassin's Pen worth it? It just seems like that's such a hefty defense penalty. Oh, you know what you have to do? I bet if you did Assassin's Pin combined with the Leeching Thorn, then it's worth it. Okay, so we're going to switch this up a little bit. You've got Leech Leeching Thorn, you've got Magic Attack plus, what is that, seven? So let's hit up the Green Leaf and just get like generally more HP there. And then on this homie, we're going to get Leeching Thorn. All right, so we got minus 20 defense, but every time we do an attack, normal attacks heal for 15% of damage done. So it kind of balances out. Party max HP plus 20. Fuck, 224 HP on this dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, any, if anyone were a candidate for this, it's pissed. We're just going to throw every single level up point into attack that we can. Yeah, he's going to dominate. Biss is going to be the shit. Troll Hunter, you're going to head to bed now? See you later. Have a good day. If the kids bother you, just, you know, tell them to shut up. <laughs> shut up, kids. All right. So what we use? Yep, we need one of those. And gourmet burger. And may as well do a yakitori shrimp. Da, da, da. Cool. So we're supposed to go over to the speed ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. We have any hidden chests over here too? No. Okay. Dude, this is like how you teach people to gamble. You give them one hidden chest. One hidden chest. Look, there's another one. And now that I've had like the positive reinforcement for that one. I'm willing to check every fucking nook and cranny in hopes of getting that, that dopamine rush again, of finding another secret. So, massive waste of time. Hey, probe. Proby, don't you want to come with us? 
Probiscus? Probiscus? No. It's weird. I never want living glass for myself, but I'm happy for Bist. Hey, Bist, you look pretty strong now. Living glass, huh? I do not miss the tank. Good to be able to see each other after all this time. This is a special day for sure. Bist was always a special one. We're talking about him like he's not here. The one who did experiments on us, he was not well. Indeed. Leave me alone. Oh yeah, you're a sales person, sales individual, a merchant. We still have not found like the merchant's pen that we need to go back to fucking. I see those hydrates. All right, all right, They're coming in. It's a way to ink. Introduce yourself. Uh. 80 ounces of water within the first 10 hours as you're awake during the day. That's the way to go. Sacrosanct Spires. It has been so long. I must find the frequency. One moment. Great alchemist. If my understanding is correct, you have never visited this world before. You should be warned about the cultists. Their origins... We will deal with whatever lies ahead. There is no other way. Then let us proceed. What I can say... It's my chosen occupation to challenge your self-proclaimed ink compatibility. <laughs> he juggles! Oh, dude, I love this guy. I had to. I couldn't help myself. Could not be helped. Okay. Digging the vibe of this place. Got like a techno vegetation vibe. Oh, hey! More birds. You know they've got unique sounds because this is. <gasps> he turned into a wheel! Oh, hell yeah. These guys are like, well, we were friendly. Any more, baby? Uh, let's do a little swappy swap. Fake me out three times. Oh, okay, so what are our abilities here? We've got moderate blunt and arcane damage to a single target for an elbow drop, WWE style. A warble inspires the target, curing KO'd state and healing slightly. Okay. And power smash. Arcane damage to a single target can be timed for bonus AoE damage. Hell yeah, let's power smash this middle guy. Timed it. That was sick. All right. All right, let's do a little dash strike. Let's just AoE these guys down.
It looks like we get arcane from doing our boost. Nice. And he healed 12 HP. That's huge. I didn't see if he did that with the spell. I'm thinking he didn't. So he has to be doing like just normal attacks to get that uh, that bonus healing. What an ominous death bird statue. Turns into a slug, dude. This guy is an awesome addition to the party. Slugging, wheeling, dealing a homie over here. Oh. Didn't realize it was going to be timed. I'm liking this tower. not a lot of back and forth. We're just going up. Only up. Just like the game. Okay, let's swap right here. And you're dead. Moderate blunt and arcane damage to a single target. Yeah, let's elbow drop. From the top rope! Blob style. <laughs> oh, wow. Vulnerable. Cool. Oh, they can't build fake outs. Like, the enemies already fake out enough. You can't just build more fake outs into this shit. Like, I tell myself I'm good at video games. What the fuck? All right, I'll stop with the squid puns if you stop with the octopus puns so we can be <laughs> squitterate to others. Also, because I ran out of puns. Uh, I don't agree. <laughs> Flat out. All right, what do we got? We got Solstice Strike. Okay. Arcane Moons. Just get a little, little bunch attack in. That's all we needed. I see it. I see it. Also, Squidmaster, keep them coming, man. They're, like, I have faith in you. I have faith. Mm. Are these the cultists? Daffy Duck looks so bored. <laughs> he looks so bored. Armed artist, I've got that inkling too. Brother Cassigan. You seldom leave your post. Did something happen? An unidentified group has managed to break through the seal. One of them used songster magic. What? But how? We were told they couldn't leave the dome. I saw it myself. A sort of glass vessel moving. Oh? <laughs> we're chatter. Daffy. <laughs> I'll take it ink to consideration, but I remain optimistic that <laughs> you'll figure out more puns. Uh, optimistic is is pretty top tier. That's top tier right there. Things are getting interesting for once, and I think maybe I should handle them. A little trap, perhaps. Yes, swift action may be preferable here. This is starting to hurt. Or 
preposterous. The code clearly states that anyone may attempt to... Whoa! Silence! Triumvirate of Eminence reigns supreme, and I, Abstarak, am its leader. You will not question me. I, I apologize, Great Illuminator. Ratchatter, deal with the intruders. Squidmaster, gotta go. Be encouraging to others. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, take it easy, Squidmaster. Okay, that's just the way back. Got it. Across the package. Package? Passage. We go. <laughs> Across the package. That's pretty good. Okay. Continuing on. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I really prefer it, guys, when I can get sneak attack. Swap out here. We'll do a little moon orang. And then we'll just take the other one right to the chin. Not blocked. Okay, we got 16, 75, or 60. Let's hit the 75. Ooh, dude, I just noticed that uh, Bist only has 12 MP kind of rough. Not a lot. Okay. Trapped. Look at this guy. What an engineer just setting up <laughs> lever traps. Let us out. Right, I can't do that, Repon Gal. Last one sure is odd. You heard her. Free us or else. <laughs> or else what? The sitting triumvirate of eminence has remained unchallenged for centuries. You think you low lives have a shot at replacing us? We've been through worse. <laughs> we get through this, he's loading up his RPG. Oh! To the gallows they go. It's all the same in the end. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was some pretty good reaction time, gotta say. Patting myself on the back there. Onion. 
All right, so we climb out over here. And then, damn it. We have to find out what crawled up Daffy Duck's ass. All right, well, yeah, is it Ebb? Ebb, yeah, okay. Boom. Little moon orang for the two of you. Birds always have sound effects in this game, guys. I'm telling you. If it's a bird enemy... Always. Can't wait to fight the Triumvirate because they're going to have three super unique bird sounds. Double dagger owl here. Calm down, sir. Need you to remain calm. Ooh, shroomies. Don't mind if I do. All right, so we go up, up, down. And there it is. Thought we were going to the gallows, Daffy. I don't think so, man. Come on. Okay, I guess we probably jump off that. What's up? What's up with you? Unintelligible. Soundproof barrier. My magic can't break it. one is not a cultist. Might be able to help if we can free him. <laughs> I didn't see the ledge. I didn't see the ledge at all. I thought we were just dumping to our deaths. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Not fooling me twice. Well, certainly got the rest of us. He's hoping the release mechanism is this way. Dude, I love playing as Sarai. I just feel so badass just running around. Um, okay. That was not the jump I was looking for, Sarai. Shall we try that again? Might be some other way to get there. Yeah, some other way. Boo. Boo. Okay, what's next? I see it. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Cool. Good thing you're from the future and you know how to work this console, right? Matching game. Thankfully, that was super easy. <laughs> it was the easiest matching game I've ever played. Okay. Back we go. Hopefully, hitting the switch also gets me a little pathway up here so I can get this happy, happy little chest. All right. Who's this homie? Verlo, like Merlo, but from the future. Free at last. Thank you, something something. Didn't read the rest. Wind magic will help you escape the gallows here.
code compels me to leave the spires, but I will not forget this debt. Safe journeys! Thanks, brother. Ooh, another death bird. Cool. Uh, I'll do anything for a sapphire ingot, chat. Anything. Hmm. I wonder if I could have jumped down there. Woo! Get broken. And Venom Flurried. And now we got a combo ready. Okay. Three feints before the attack. Seventy-six. That's not bad. All right, Sarai can use a little more combo. Not combo, MP. Wait, we already have a combo attack with Bist? I love that. Let's do more WWB moves from the top rope. Please and thank you. Hmm. Nope, we go back. Interesting that we had an exit right there. All that extra for a treasure chest? I mean, I'm willing to do it. such a huge challenge in this game is learning the attack patterns of all the enemies. It's harder than it looks, chat, okay? Do you think I intimidated Squidmaster? Uh... No, I think you kept his mind occupied. Must have been something else going on because, I mean, his fancies were definitely tentacled. I didn't know I could use boost for magic. Can you use boost for magic? Have I not known that this whole damn time? Oh my god, that's insane. Okay, more MP. Dude, I think we just want HP. HP dump. Really? We just decided to go with physical attack and we don't we don't get any. Sad. Mana points then. <laughs> there we go. Let's get up to ninety. Oh, 
More MP. Knew I shouldn't have bought that thing. Knew it. Fiber steel blade was a waste of money. Can we just jump down? Oh, another exit? Seat of the Triumvirate. Did you kill them? Not quite. What do you mean, not quite? They managed to escape the gallows. How? Their team is truly formidable. And there's one more thing, Great Illuminator. <laughs> Speak. Our prisoner has been freed. Verlo? That aged wine? Oh, my Saint Eminence. The traps all worked, but the assassin on their team has reflexes like I've never seen. Not like I asked him to calamari me, so ink can squitter it. <laughs> I'm sorry. There was nothing more I could have done. I mean, it's true. It's not like you asked him to cuddle fish or anything. We went through a lot of trouble to capture Verlo. If he... Verlo won't do anything. He lives by the code. His attempt at challenging us has failed, and thus he is compelled to exile himself from the spires. The others are still coming. What then? We defend our titles. <laughs> a daffy duck in a ghillie suit. It's freaking weird. Okay, looks like the other path that we didn't go on, the one to the left, that ends up going to the, uh, the statue that we're ultimately trying to get to, but the path is blocked. Hmm. Okay. So that's a wind. Apparently we can't use our wind magic from our fart fist. It's not stinky enough. All right, more matching. This one's gonna be tougher. Nope. Damn it. Oh, it's this one and this one. Okay. Fuck. Did these change? Oh, they changed. Oh, damn, dude. Pretty sure that was this. Yep. Nice. Got it. Got it. Okay. Hey yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna need something to weigh down those uh pressure plates right there. Poisoned and arcane. Evidence. Whoops. The ebb did not flow this day. Faster.
one HP. I got that down. He got, ah, he got down to one HP. That's insane. Okay, let's healing light. Sick. Should have healing lighted yourself. Telepounce. You're dead. The blocks are getting harder, guys. The blocks are getting harder. Let's warble. Fucking Daft Punk style. Did you guys know this is what Daft Punk looks like under their helmets? That's so fast. Or maybe he's just crabby because he woke up on the wrong side of the seabed. Honestly, though, so shellfish. You're really cracking yourself up over there. Yeah, let's hit it. Crustad. Oh, I forgot the guy had one HP. Get got. Oh, bye bye. Oh, bye bye then. Oh, goodbye. I'll see ya. Oh, bye bye. Ooh, what a beautiful egg. Oh, and then you stand on it. Aha. Yep, so we need to use the ball to combo step there. I'm glad it's not timed. No! That's way further than I wanted to jump down. Just sneak a peek. Oh, well, oh, there we go. I'd rather break on through. I panic switched right there. I didn't even see what happened. Sarai's got... You got some shit going on with Sarai. All right. All right. I thousand percent should have done some different ability. Tis what it is. It ebbed. Spin cut. Okay, let's do a power smash. Let's get that bonus AOE damage going on. See how this works out. And let's see if we heal. So we're at 94 HP right now. No extra HP. That was not enough, Rashawn. That was not enough. Zero successful blocks. Just cuz. Just cuz. I'm <laughs> a crystal egg. Hmm. Strange object of worship. We have one data strip. 
we can make a cipher with the data strip and i believe we needed a cipher for opening a door in respite or whatever that town is called i know that's not actually it something different i wonder if there's a purpose for us going back on the ferry probably Okay. Gourmet burger. Yeah, let's go. Wait. Oh, there's just one ally. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What is this? Maybe we can fart fist our way up there. Shall we drop down the other side? Oh yeah, we shall. Spark mesh armor. Embraces the wearer's body with impossible accuracy. Sturdy miracle of technology. Sick. Ah. That one was on me. That one was on me. Okay, let's swap out. Do a little Venom Flurry. Careful though, you don't want to strain your comedy muscles. No lie. If you strain your comedy muscles, I mean, you're likely to get yuck, yuck, yuckled off the stage. It was nice seeing you guys in chat. We'll, we'll see you next time, maybe. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Shall we Venom Flurry yet again? I'm gonna take out this homie. Get taken out. Those extra heals are nice. That was not worth the MP. Okay, Rashawn, yep. I'll take it. recipe for a champion's omelet. 255 HP gets you through the day with unprecedented energy. Oh man, that's making me crave an omelet right there. Hey, thanks for the bitties! Okay, I'll stop with the ocean puns. The other ones were shrimply irresistible. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Simply irresistible. Sure, there's another pun there if I actually knew the lyrics to the song, but I don't. All right, let's see if we got a campfire in here. <laughs> Penance for your bad puns. I should be tipping you. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got? 
Mist is so ready for this. It's nice having him around. I bet Garl would have loved Cedric. Sacrosanct Spires are in the northwest corner. Let's hurry. Uh, yeah. Where have you been? We're there. I have never been to this world, but the magic in here feels familiar. Living glass. The crone was right. I am eager to test my new form. All right. Story time, chat. Just couldn't kelp yourself? I, I I tied a little bit on the inside with that one. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. New story unlocked, the Clockwork Castle. New story unlocked, Kukar the Unyielding. Hey, want to hear a story? All right, Clockwork Castle, here we go. When Ephraim first arrived in our realm, he brought with him a group of kid geniuses. <laughs> uh, if the stories are to be believed, Kale and his friends had struck a deal with him to free their people. In the Fleshmancer's new base of operations, they would toil away, creating machines for obscure uses in realms unknown. But such a base had yet to be built, so as always, Ephraim set out to locate the best collaborator there was to be found. He needed somebody morally neutral, for it was execution he desired, not competition. With this new lair, he would prove himself superior to Rashan by building a castle that would control time within itself. The watchmaker was the perfect fit. She was only interested in her craft and otherwise had no interest in Ephraim's machinations. All she asked for in return was a workshop of her own where she could be left to her devices. Literally. Oh God almighty, we need to clam down. The deal was struck and together they designed the Clockwork Castle. The watchmaker began drafting schematics for the kids to start production on while she'd handle the more intricate parts herself. Meanwhile, Pearl enchanted countless cogs and bricks giving them an aura of magic that none could understand. Construction was almost complete when Kale and his crew made their move. One night, they flipped exactly the right cogs so that once the castle's perpetual movement was activated, its core function would backfire. They had no goal in mind other than foiling the Fleshmancer's plans. In that respect, they succeeded resoundingly. What came of the sabotage was that Time now came to a halt within Clockwork Castle, or rather, within its inhabitants. And they had played their tricks so well that Ephraim didn't even know they'd done it on purpose. There would be no impressing Rashan this time, but he could definitely see some upsides to a workshop that operated forever. As a final touch, he ensured that any mortal leaving the castle would see themselves age instantly by the amount of time they'd spent inside. Upon completion, Ephraim locked everyone inside for a century, ensuring that the watchmaker and the children could never leave, lest they die instantly of old age. The watchmaker thought nothing of it, and relished the opportunity to focus on her craft for an eternity. Yet in this time prison, Kale and his friends would have to work day and night. Proud of having done the right thing, it seems they're at peace with their situation. Perhaps getting to be kids forever helps in a way. From day one, they would always deliver, while adding just the right amount of breakage to give the Fleshmancer countless headaches without raising suspicion. One can only feel gratitude when contemplating the suffering that's been delayed, or even prevented, thanks to their cunning game of wasting Aphril's time. The end. <laughs> Kukar the Unyielding. Of the many events from the time of the Ovates, many consider the foundation of the kingdom in the clouds to be the most significant. 
It was back in the early days when the world was still being shaped. Once they had completed the islands, they started working on travel golems. The Ovates first built Yeetnik's Toll and rejoiced at the ease with which they could activate them using power words. But for Mesa Island, something more was needed. A sentient golem, one that would not simply obey commands, but carry purpose. The reason was that this specific island was at sea level, but as the Ovates had seen in their dreams, it needed to be propped up way higher. Indeed, in the future there would be a great flood, and for this world to survive, Mesa Island would have to remain above water. Okay, so that's why we're seeing all the statues like underneath the water. And there's just so many things going on underneath the water. Interesting. Although the future was a very distant one, the Ovates remained as selfless as ever in their dedication to harmony and balance. Thus, they built Kukar, but alas, found themselves, found themselves unable to give it sentience. Ever embracing the flow of things, the Ovates held firm to the belief that their part in saving Mesa Island had been played. They moved on to contemplate the vision they had seen in a shared dream, and from the essence of the very clouds conjured the sky giants. There would come a time when the Ovates would go extinct, and it would fall to the Sky Giants to keep watch. They would be tasked with establishing a council in the clouds to oversee the very three very important things. First of which was to keep watch over the elements. While the flood was unavoidable, maintaining balance would remain a challenge unless new Ov Ovates arose. Secondly, they would be gatekeepers of the Sea of Stars, carefully vetting those who would seek to travel between worlds, Lastly, there was the matter of Kukar. It remained incomplete, so they would need to be on the lookout for a wielder of magic potent enough to make the construct sentient. In the end, it was the Great Eagle who helped them in this. Nowadays, few are aware of Kukar's purpose, most believing it to be nothing more than an impressive feat of masonry. And even from a prophetic standpoint, there is no real way to know whether it will withstand the coming flood. But until then, Kukar's role would remain a passive one. Holding on with an ever firm grip, it would stand tall, inspiring mortals as a testament to stoicism and true dedication. One need only lay eyes upon the construct once to understand where it got its title of Kukar the Unyielding. The end. All right, Kukar's kind of a bro. What do we got? Oh, we have, we have used some shit. Okay, 255 HP. Oh my gosh, we only have enough milk for one of these. Hang on. All right, we should bust out some crustads if we can do. Yep, we'll do as many as we can. Getting that whole party wide heal and that whole party wide MP. Kind of important. But we need more eggs and dairy. Oh God, that looks good. That looks so good. And let's knock out a couple hearty stews while we're at it. Mm-hmm. Save and rest. Do 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 do. Cult of the Birdman. And we rest. Do the seat. We'll make him take one. A seat, that is. Notch count. Already three. Yeah, we've got some unlocks. Oh, are we gonna have a crane situation here? Not just the bird, guys. Not just the bird. Knee obsidian staff. And this is why we saved our money on weapons and armor. The 
energy from this pillar tugs at the mind. How about the other one? Does that tug at the mind too? Sure does. Run, 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 run. To the seat. Daffy just loves the feeling of blood rushing to his head. New challengers have bested the spires. The triumvirate of eminence acknowledges your presence. So you're in charge here? You will address the great illuminator by title. We didn't come to replace you. Then what is it you seek? Best just stay. <laughs> Only one possible wrong answer, and you just gave it. Preposterous. It is not the place of anyone to stand in the presence of our god. For centuries, our people have been its gatekeepers. What you ask is impossible. Please, listen. Whoever put you up to this has gravely misled you. Estraste is no god. We broke it to... Silence! Trespassers seek to violate our laws and commune with our god. The triumvirate of eminence reigns supreme, and I, Abstract, am its leader. Prepare for illumination. Okay. Damn, bro. Okay. Fuck. Okay, let's swap. Fuck it, we'll phase shiv here. And then... We'll moon orang the other guy and hopefully just call it good. Wow, that was a that was a thing. I knew they would each individually have different bird sounds. I'm super curious about which dev on the team was so obsessed with birds. Those delayed strikes are a bitch. Okay, get disoriented. Okay, let's swap in. This does normal attack. Ooh, that was a mistake. Okay. We have one combo point. Get. Well. Yeah, it's good. Still got a single sunball. That's all right. Oh, men win. Yeah, we've got to stop that guy from going. Venom flurry it is. Swalking kidding me. Uh, okay. Two turns. This is party recovers 80 HP and 7 MP. What do we got here?
Yeah, so we'll use that here. And then we'll Moonring after that. We're just Crescent Arc. That's good enough. Nice. Okay, this one has not gone yet, so I presume they're gonna kinda suck. We'll disorient. Then I really want to get, uh... Fuck. All right, we got to get the Alchemist in play here. Okay, we'll do an ebb. Nice. Okay, let's swap here. We haven't seen... We have seen the ultimate here. All right, it is pretty sick. Hopefully... Ooh, no. First things first. Damn. So good moon shiv. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do that. Get mass damage. Hundred ninety four. That was good. Get zooked. Get blocked three times. All right, Zale's ultimate attack. We haven't seen this one yet. Let's go. Solon's light salvation. Hell yeah. Ha! Wow. That was huge damage. Yeah, we'll Lunar Shield. Why not? The Light Heal. Great damage. Which one is the party recovers nine MP? There it is. Let's go. Quack. Put your shield again. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? They'll do that fucking crazy ass combination of things is what they'll do. All right. Dude, I hate this ability. Pain. Well, shit. Moon rock. Blunt arcane and moon damage to a single target. Okay. What else we got? Okay, elbow loop. Blunt Venom and Arcane, Arcane Sun. 
Could be timed for a bonus. Yeah, okay, we saw that one. That was sick. Bottle punch. High damage versus one target. All right, well, just wanted to know, like, what we got available. All right, whatever. We'll just focus here. Nice. Took down the healer. Oh, no, we didn't. We took down the other guy. You better not bring that guy up. Okay, good. Hmm. Do you have a combo? We just got up to two points. Went from zero to two. Sick. What do we got here? Looking for that poison combo, guys. Poison and blunt. Nope. Oh, also delays his turn. That'll work. Oh, that's right. Okay, so the kicks. Damn. Almost. Get broken. Just do your regular attack and get some MP back, huh? We almost have an ultimate. Get some more balls in play. Yeah, can we disorient? We can. Nice. Gets a little backup sun too, but I think... We're going to knock out at least one of them with this ultimate. Uh, prepare to get fucked. you. My name is an abstract. Great Eagle. So this is how you chose to thank us? Huh? Oh, shit. Is this something Rashawn didn't even know? We gave you flight, and you were, would repay us with our destruction? So, uh, what? what? What are you talking about? For you to end our lives after we sacrificed what was required? Huh? Is this irony? Or does your cruelty surpass that of your partner? Uh, Ephraim. Is there some stuff that Rashawn doesn't even remember? Perfect. Thank you, Ephraim. Good. Perhaps now you can stop rambling about wanting natural flight. Mm, yes, I suppose I could move on to rambling about how great it feels instead. <laughs> Just my luck. Fucking Ephraim's pretty ripped. Happy birthday, Rashawn. I'm glad you like your gift. How did you do it? I thought a transmutation spell like this required a hybrid soul. I obviously found a way, but you'll have to let me keep my secrets if you want more surprises in the future. <laughs> I suppose that's fair. No, oh, try this! Yeah, they used to be fucking besties. Interesting. Their 
There's no taste, but it's impossibly refreshing. What do you call it? Nice line. The state of equilibrium between ice and water. The final ingredient is the warmth of the drinker's mouth, forcing it to contrast by turning into ice for but a fraction of a second. But it melts as it tries to freeze, letting you experience a seemingly ethereal temperature. Oh, I see where this is going. You still have that flask design in mind. Yes. I'm ready for another attempt at capturing the sands of time. Third time's the charm. I will accompany you. I was hoping you would say that. And if you ask nicely, I might let you fly on my back. Haha, <laughs> big if. Alright, so they come from this world that's pretty fucking dope looking, honestly. Another lie. So, he made a deal with you? The Fleshmancer? Yes. Many of us were sacrificed while he was working on your gift. What he offered in exchange, the power of mind magic, and purpose in the worshipping of Estriste. It was well worth it. Ephraim, no. This hurts you? And it brings some measure of peace to know that you are cursed with immortality. Suffer well. Damn, dude. Basically just spit on him as he died. What was that about? The Great Eagle. It was a birthday gift from Ephraim. Very long time ago. Back when he was still himself, or so I believed. I'm sorry, Rashad. Just one more happy memory ruined. In the grand scheme of things, it's no concern, but this does imply that his wicked deeds began centuries earlier than I'd assumed. This changes everything. I must go. What? But why? My calculations were way off. It is imperative that I return to the archives and run more models. You can't just leave like that. We need your help to fix this. This puppet will help until you've seen this journey through. Thank you for the companionship. It has been refreshing. Quite well. Just like that, he... Anyone in there? He left like we were nothing to him. Whatever. Rashawn played his part and made his choice. You're right. We should press on. This. We're almost at Estrus Day. The teleporter at the bottom of the stairs should be functional now. Okay. That was kind of fucked. Mind magic. Wiped out with the same people it once served. Damn. Make a couple more hearty stews. Damn, dudes! It's pretty brutal. Hearty stew. Damn, damn, damn. John's gone. Bless you! Ah. 
You're welcome. Yeah, she heard it. I don't know why I'm shouting. She can probably just hear it through the stream. Heard Jazzo sneezing in the other room. That's what's going on. Oh, man. Okay. Astra stays lookout. Ooh. Here we go, team. Broken handle. More lore, baby. We made it. Uh, is this the release mechanism? Kind of fucked. <laughs> Ratcheter. This, is there another way? Step aside. I'm gonna elbow drop this son of a bitch. Called it. Nobody's dropped a hydrate in a while. I forgot to drink water. I'm behind schedule. Oh, the tubes are active now? Okay. Way to go, Bist. Did it work? Yes, the Speedball Travel Network should be online now. From here, we can fast travel to any of the other stations, including the one at Skybase. Ooh. Man, those things are fast. Hey, Teeks. Hey, how's it going? We're making progress, but we just lost Rashawn. What? I can see him right there. It's just an empty puppet. The real him is gone. Kind of creepy, kind of cool. Oh, hello there. That's living glass. Nice to meet you. I'm Teeks. Greetings. My name is Bist. Hey, so I was exploring near a pine and this speedball thing just opened up. Was it your doing? Bist brought power back. We can use it to get to Skybase. Oh, I'll tag along then. I gotta see that. Uh oh. Dude, if Teeks dies too, if if fucking Garl and Teeks. And Teeks, got that. Ah, that would be. That would be some shit. Is what that would be. Fart fist. Okay, well, speedball network. Thought it said we could travel anywhere, but sky base is it. I literally thought the speedball network was like a paintball thing. <laughs> but like, network? <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely had that wrong. Skybase, we made it. What are we looking for? Whatever will stop the clouds being produced. There has to be a control room somewhere. And if we find that damned catalyst, you got it.
Dude. This reminds me of a Mega Man level. It's even got like Mega Man vibes for the music too. Oh, hey. Uh, this is awkward. Let's do a little disorient. All right, there we go. We got our blunt. We'll have Sail do an attack. So many triple attacks from enemies these days. Okay, so we got 30 HP left there. Orient again. Rashad. A bummer. Not resistant. Good, 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 good. thinking toward the end of a battle is like once I kind of have it locked in I'm trying to think of like getting more MP back to the rest of the party okay may as well take a rest probably means this is a good grind spot where we're not gonna do it chat we're not gonna do the grind kill the clouds and the mockingbird Okay, and then we switch. What are we trying to do? Oh, got it. Okay. using a computer like I use a computer. Just smash it. Alright, Crescent Arc. Yep. Get fucked. Master Croon Claw. You too, Yinky. I'd like to kill both of these guys so we can take the next one out over time. Get a little MP back. Wow. Just kidding. He's still alive. Mm. Okay, so it does one snap, pause, then the actual attack happens. Snap, pause, attack. How's everybody else doing on MP? Doing great, doing great. Yeah, let's get Valir. What did I do? Oh! 
I brought in like a whole new island. Okay. Yeah, we got one of these things. I wonder if there's like an achievement for not setting off any alarms. Bring it. These fucking guys again. Well, if you're gonna do a hex shield, which is fucking stupid and ridiculous, I'm gonna do a lunar shield, which is awesome. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you so much, you stupid machine. All right, get phase shift. Hopefully you just die. Flip it, pop it. Yeah. That's such a huge pause. Such a huge pause in that ability. Dude, what is the hex shield weak against? Anything? this mofo. Vulnerable to elbow drops. Nice. Whee! Got it. 1260. Zerp. Ooh. Okay, this is where we came from. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Cool. Conch. Okay. Somewhere mid 40s on our conch count. Not bad. Quick rest, quick save, quick elevate. In that order. forever with the elevator, man. Damn. We are way up here. Okay, we need to turn on this. Open that door. West Wing sustained heavy damage after collision with an asteroid. Area in lockdown for crew's safety. Override. Denied. Emergency measures may not be overridden. Dry clearly knows how to deal with computers. Let's keep going. Ooh, look at the backdrop. Awesome. Did you hear the music just got a little bit muffled? Man, the sound design in this game is fantastic. The slug design, too. Just top notch. Okay. Uh. Ooh. I saw you first. At least we can, uh. 
dash strike, y'all. Knock out a couple of them. Lorb. Woof. Yo, that one, that one hurt a little bit. All right, let's do a power smash too. Vulnerable to arcade. a lot of XP in this area. You really don't need to grind in this game. Like, I've done it. But I don't really think it was necessary. <laughs> the bust, bist, wheel move is pretty awesome. Fine. Wait, was that it? Is that what I was supposed to do? Oh, I saw it. That one took me a hot minute. Bist wheel. He's my best man. My bestest bud. Bistest with the um, mistest. What? Wait, 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 wait. How do we get down here? Hey. Mm -hmm. Yo, how do we, how do we do this? Can't jump. Can't go straight across. Oh, there's a... I didn't see this. Spark Mesh Cape. Rosewood Cork. Okay, Rosewood for sure. Azure Cape, so we get plus 10, plus 5 there. Plus 15, plus 11. Clear winner. Back we go. Love the debris field outside of the uh, broken zone of the ship. There's no way for me to knock that out unless I start the battle with combo points. That's the only way I can knock out that lock. That sucks. Like, what a way to start. Did that for the little extra HP that we get and to get some balls in play. does a whole bunch of damage to the hex shield. That would be pretty awesome. Dude, what kind of like creepy fresh flesh robots are we going to be fighting when we fight the Dweller? That's going to be pretty sick, actually.
vulnerable to blunt. Get it. Damn, timing. Yep, just single hits. Get that MP back. It's probably going to be enough to kill it. Yep. All good. Recharged as best we can. Do we have a uh, mushroom soup, perhaps? Fires the target. Curing KO'd state and healing slightly. How much slight healing can we get? Not bad. Not bad. North wing pressure stabilized. Access granted. Good. Good. Two pressure, pressure, two pressure plates. Uh, okay, let's summon our thingies. Orp. Okay. Right, let's get this other guy going too. So we can move straight down. one. And two. What kind of goodies? Music sheets. All right. There we go. So, do we have any MP? Yes, for the whole party. Did you bring enough for the rest of the party? Huh? My gamer sense tells me a boss fight is coming. I hope we get an item that gives us plus one combo point to start the battle. Like, that's all I ask. You're pretty good. Almost knocked him out. Just about. Get wrecked. All right. And he's oh, we gotta level up just before the boss fight too. Look at that. All right, so what are we hitting here? What are we hitting? We'd love to get magic attack. I'll settle with more physical attack. Hello, puppet. 
Yes. Keep that competitive advantage going. Yep. MPs. Really? I just decided to go all in on attack with this dude. May as well lock in some more uh, defense, I guess. Oh, magic attack is lagging behind in a serious way. This dude's tanky. He's definitely a Garl replacement. You never replace Garl. Bist. Who do you think you are? Okay. Whole station's moving. Didn't collide with an asteroid. Call ourselves lucky. Bing. Question pack number eight. We'll have to visit the quiz master. Yeah, I'm curious. Once we get to the top, I want to go into the uh, the settings to see what they say about boosting. Where was that? How to play. Combat. Boosting with live mana. You can boost a magic attack. Okay, so I could... Yeah, I think I've been fucking that up this whole time. I could be doing a lot better with locks. A lot better. Okay. We're way up there. Damn. not go up? Fuck. Level two. Bite your tongue. No one simply replaces Garl. Sin! I got my pitchfork until he said you could never replace Garl. Yep. Yep. You can never replace Garl, guys. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay, here we go. Hey, what's up in here? Okay. Wow, the one time, the one time these nerds don't start out the battle with a lock. All good. Let's phase shiv this dude. Get wrecked. One eighty five. Yeah. Yes. Just like that. All right, what do we got? All right, we're taking it right. Okay. So what I'm reading. So I can take in a little extra. We should be able to knock out two of the poisons this way. That didn't work how I thought it was going to. Hmm. Now whatever. Huh. 
I really thought I could knock out two poisons. I did F up the timing of the boost. Not the boost, but, you know, the bonus. Either way. A miffed. A miffed, y'all. Successfully used all my MP before the boss fight. Plasma daggers. I'll take it. Let's go. All right. Well, I've got a little indicator there to show which zone I'm in. In the right zone. Might as well. You ready for chat? You ready for this boss fight? Am I ready for this boss fight? Ooh, what do we have here? 3D printer vending machine online. Please make your selection. Cool. We got all of those already. A cloudy simulacrum. S simulacrum. Come on. You just had to cook surf and turf tataki. Very well. Let's check out Surf and Turf. Plus 135 HP and 8 MP for the whole party. Just a hell of a lot of meat. Alright, that's sick. Alright, let's see if we can sell some of our current food. Not just ingredients. I want to sell, like, legit food that we made. Okay. Make a, make a couple of these, uh, was it surf something? Where'd it go? Oh, it's a tucky. Okay. Oh, I can only make one. It can be only one. All right. Papalote. Next. Okay, we don't need to rest, but we will resave. I'm just a fucking broke-ass scrub again. Whoa. What was that? It's... Catalyst. Intruders in the command center. Engaging combat mode. Bring out the big balls. Oh, guns. Literally big guns. I said balls is a joke. What? A death wall situation. Ready, Zale? You bet. All right. 110 HP. Yeah, these shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Skills. Let's disorient this one. And build we'll dash strike. Well, there's a gun underneath the other gun. Beautiful. Let's lunar shield. little extra moon power do there. Oh, extra HP. That's sick. 
well. You can disorient yet again. Let's just... Ooh, we shouldn't sunball that. We should just attack it. Mm -hmm. That's good. One oh two. Hell yes. All right, first wall down. Next wall. Jet. All targets, huh? Okay, let's do it. That was good. That was very good. Nice. We should be able to do at least nine damage with this Venom Flurry. As long as I don't fuck it up. Has not been my best skill lately. When I first got this, I was like, oh yeah, it's so good. I could like look at the camera and shit and just do it. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Not anymore. Okay. So now we got these turrets. Fantastic. Alright, we'll do abeyance. I thought it hit all of them though. We gotta do something that hits all of them. Arcane moons. Arcane lunar managed to all targets. Yeah, we'll just do that again. It worked really good. Blocked. It's alright. Ooh, 37 damage resistant. That's no good. Okay. Resistant there, but a little extra poison never hurt nobody. I mean... Maybe? Alright, Sarai. Let's get you some MP back. Guarantee this. Now for the big one. Ooh, look at all those. I bet as we kill these things, the, uh, the middle unit does moves to, like, get new guns just like a conveyor belt. Moonrock. Blunt. Arcane and moon damage to a single target. Yeah. What do we got here? We got elbow loop. Single target, blunt venom, and arcane. Arcane and solar to a single target can be timed for bonus AoE. Let's hit that. Oh, I can't... Okay, hang on. That changes things. I can't target the middle guy. What do we got here? Arcane Barrage. Yeah, let's hit them all. This seems like a good ability for this time. Ultimate Lunar. Luana's Might. Retribution. God, chat. Y'all remember how much Garl sucked? where we swap in homie single target Fuck, they're all two okay damn it.
Hmm. Let's do ally recovers 15 MP. Yeah. Sarai is just so useful for that delay attack. Disorient is like the god move. All right, let's phase Shiv. The extra poison. Just get everything we can. Uh, you guys are not paying attention. I just threw out some Garl hate and nobody ran to his defense. I mean, obviously you knew I was lying. But nonetheless, damn. Okay. Power smash, single target, can be timed for bonus AOE damage. Let's swap out. Okay, we'll do what we can here. Still in shock. Oh. Okay, just kidding. Premature celebration. Yeah, this is so good against all these enemies, but we ran out of combo points right before we're doing this attack right here. Okay, so let's uh, disorient again. Say we damage. Ba -ba 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 -bom. Yeah, I guess we'll just solstice strike this dude. Let's go. Well, not like that. Yeah, let's see what we can get. I say we do the ultimate with Zale. Zale's the guy. Trail. Trail's broken, dude. Everything's broken. I don't understand it. Betrayal. Yeah, stab in the back. Betrayal. Yeah, I'm stretched on the rack. Betrayal. Yeah, thrown out of the... Thrown out of the... Pack? Thrown out of the pack. Betrayal. Betrayal, yeah. Right? You okay? Oh, shit. We're having a flesh back. Oh, just like that. Soul Curator. Huh? What happened? It doesn't matter right now. Let's check the control module. Sorry, I had to step away so I could pay my hitman to handle your blasphemy. <laughs> this has to be what's creating the clouds, but... I've never seen anything so intricate. Cedric, tell me you've got something. Scanning. Negative. Encryption level too high. If you guys are yeah, really us. This? Hey, thanks what for the bits. What number are we thinking of? 69, dudes! Hey, that one worked. I don't know why channel points are just busted. I can't use this. This? Apologies, Sarai. My people were builders and magicians. 
The wonders of technology are a mystery to me. It was so close. Uh, well. AI core. What timing? Bit emotes work, then chat redeems don't. Yeah. I don't know. It has to be something to do with me turning on Twitch alerts, which I'm just going to turn off. I did it. I did it because they offered two extra animated emote slots. And I was like, okay, well, you know, well I want more emotes. So here we go. Hey, look over here. List is still alive. Please, one moment. I am not evil. I was forced to operate within the catalyst against my will. And I must say I had quite an awful time of it. Can you help stop the clouds? Believe me, I wish I could. But alas, the only function I have access to is the one used to attach souls to machines. My databank does contain plenty of schematics related to Skybase, however. Can you give them to us? I'm afraid everything is encrypted. Access is virtually impossible. Well, you're an AI core. Figure it out. Oh, yeah? I wonder if I just... Use my magic book. Apparently not. I can't have my cake and eat it, too. No. I have the cake and then have to throw up the cake. And then I can look at the cake in my pile of, you know, it's not good. It worked? Um, hmm. So just a bunch of documentation and intricate designs. There's nothing in here about operating the console directly. Tech savvy engineers may infer core function based on blueprints and schematics. Recommended action. Find someone smarter. <laughs> Fucking burn, Cedric. Hey, how about Kale and his friends at Clockwork Castle? They're pretty good at this kind of stuff, right? Worth a shot. It's a lead. Maybe they can hack into the AI core too. You're coming with us. Please be gentle. Okay, time to return to our homeworld for a bit. <laughs> the entrance to the Sea of Stars is to the southeast of the Sacrosanct Spires. There's a speedball station close to it, too. Let us make haste! Okay. We're leaving. The rest. A little save. Let's go speedball. We have anything that we need to go back to Repine for. We could feed that. I will be back here. Sea of Stars. Let's go. Why don't you guys get to see the animation again for those of you who missed it last time? Oh my god, I need to get to lifting again. Skinny arms. Let's go. I hope you guys get to see the animation. It is dope. Uh. Bummer. Oh well. It was quite the grand entrance at first. Okay, there's Mirth. Sup, y'all? 
Oh my god, there's so many side quests I find myself wanting to do. Just focus, focus, get to the clockwork tower. Oh wait. We unlocked a fast travel. I almost forgot. Okay, y'all. You know what? We're going to call it here. Well, YouTube, this is the end of today's stream. There's going to be more. There's going to be more. It's coming. Don't worry. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. We'll catch you next time. And if you want to see us live and see these amazing humans up here, up there, twitch.tv slash beard on fire. Love to see you there. All right. Have a good one. Bye.